Welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. Today, we're talking about studying for your ham radio license. Maybe you're looking for a good study buddy. Well, I have just a tool for you and it's called Ham Radio Prep. Let's go. Now, I feel uniquely qualified to give this review. I spent many years on the faculty at the University of Colorado, so teaching concepts to somebody with limited you know, technical knowledge on the subject is not a new concept for me. The first thing that I noticed when I logged into Ham Radio Prep, and I could tell from their website, was that they're using up-to-date technology, which is huge. So many amateur radio websites today look like they were coded back in the 1990s. I'm not sure why that is, but we've gotta, we gotta get over that as a hobby. Ham Radio Prep functions perfectly. I didn't run into any weird errors. I could use it across multiple different browsers. It worked well on my phone, on my iPad, and on the desktop computer here in the shack. So that's gonna give you the freedom to study for your ham radio license, whether you're talking to your technician license, or maybe you're gonna go for your general or your extra class, uh, anywhere, anytime, uh, you'll know it works beautifully on your smartphone. The next thing to love about ham radio prep is the use of video. I used a ton of video when I was teaching at the University of Colorado. It's a really great learning assist and ham radio prep uses it beautifully. Um, the videos are very, very, very well done. They're animated, uh, they're interesting, but they're not intimidating. They're not overly technical. Um, they're just giving you the very broad strokes of the concepts that you need to know to pass the exam. There will be plenty of time for you to worry about learning the super in-depth technical side of ham radio. I mean, that's why you're getting your license, right? The other thing that's important to know about ham radio prep is it does pull questions from all the different sub pools uh, from the FCC practice exam. What that means is if you're using a potential competitor to ham radio prep, uh, you may be getting the same questions over and over and over on your practice exam. And then when you go to take your actual test, you're like, I never saw a question like this. Uh, Ham Radio Prep makes sure that they pull questions from all the sub pools on every single practice exam. That way, when you feel prepared to go in with Ham Radio Prep, you know that you're ready to go and pass that test. So much so, they feel so confident in that neuroscience, in that testing, all the things that Ham Radio Prep is bringing to the table. If you don't pass it, they will refund your money. Who does that? Ham Radio Prep has uh, four different courses you can pick from, and there's a, kind of some different pricing structures to them. Let's go through them. For 25 bucks, um, you can take a Baofeng course. If you just want to know the basics of one of the most popular radios for new hams, uh, they offer a course just on how to use your radio, how to talk on a repeater, all those things that new hams might have questions on. That's a fantastic course that they offer. For another $25, you have the technician exam, although you can bundle that for $35 with a general. And if you even have a inkling that you might want to upgrade to do HF radio and get that general class license, just go ahead and pay the 35 because if not, you're going to end up paying 50 in total if you split them up and go, oh, I really do want to become a general class. Just do general and tech together and I guarantee you, you're going to want to get on those HF bands. And if you're looking to upgrade to extra, it's 50 bucks. So all reasonably priced and again, the content is excellent. On that note, let's head back to the computer and take a sneak peek at what ham radio prep looks like underneath the hood. All right, we're here on hamradioprep.com. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on the big sign up button, but for me, I've already done that, so I'm gonna click on log in. Now, depending on what courses you choose that you wanna pay for, it's gonna dictate what this screen looks like. I have all four of them here, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on technician license course first, since that's what so many of you will be interested in. Let's uh, click on it and take a look at what Ham Radio Prep is offering. It's pretty cool. Welcome to Ham Radio Prep. Throughout this program, we will teach you everything you need to know to pass the technician license exam and join the 1% of Americans who have earned an amateur radio call sign. After you pass the in-person exam, you are free to start operating. All right, so you can kind of get a sense of how these videos work. They are really well done, so really big hats off to Ham Radio Prep for that. Um, so you'll watch a video. It could be from one minute, a minute and a half, two minute long video. Just give you a very broad stroke of the concepts. After that, you're going to go here on the left hand side and you're going to go into the text portion of that lesson. Uh, so in this case, it is an, just an introduction to amateur radio. Now, one of the things I did not mention in the beginning of this video is the focus 
on the blue words. So think of this as when you see the blue words on your screen, it's kind of like uh, someone's already pre-highlighted your book for you about what are the most important concepts that you need to know to pass the test. So throughout these lessons, you will see blue. When you see blue, really let that soak into your brain. Really pay attention to that sentence. Uh, so this is where we go through and we'll actually study the text um, that you may have actually gotten from the video. So again, we're combining video-based learning with actual reading like you would uh, in a textbook. So you'll go through, you'll read through the important stuff. You need to know uh, the concepts that you will see on the exam. Once we complete this, we can go on to the quiz for this lesson. So this will bring up the actual questions. Uh, here's one. What are the FCC rules regarding the use of the phonetic alphabet for station identification in amateur radio service? Now, multiple choice, just like the FCC exam. Is it A, required when transmitting emergency messages? B, it is prohibited. C, it is required when in contact with foreign stations? Or D, it is encouraged? Well, I've been a ham for long enough. I'm going to go D, it is encouraged, and click on confirm. All right, that answer was correct. Uh, that's awesome. Now, if you get it wrong, it will tell you which of these answers was the correct one. You click next and go on to the next one, and so on and so forth. So you can see for the technician level course, we have all these lessons here uh, where you have video, text-based content, and then a quiz. And then once you get to the very, very end, then it's time to start taking your practice exams. All right, let's go check out that practice exam because it is pretty cool how they do it. So let's go down here towards the bottom of our technician lesson and let's do a practice technician exam. And now it's gonna tell you that you wanna set a goal of attaining at least a score of 80% or greater in this exam. Now, my rule of thumb was always about 80 to 85% three times in a row. If you can hit 80 to 85 or greater three times, you are ready to take your FCC exam. But let's go ahead and click on begin final exam and see what this thing actually does. Now with the magic of video recording and editing, I've gone through and already answered all of these questions randomly. I did not try to get the right answer, so don't sit there and laugh when you see the result. I just wanted to go through, uh, select all these choices, um, and let's take a look and see uh, how it actually assesses the exam. So let's scroll on to the bottom, and let's go ahead and click on finished. I'll click confirm. All right. so. It's telling me that I got a 20% overall score. Uh, not exactly great, right? I think I better do some more studying. But notice over here, uh, group scores. By taking a look at this, it's gonna give you an understanding of what areas that you should probably focus on back in those lesson sections. So wherever you weren't doing well, whether it's electrical components, radio wave characteristics, operating procedures. Now you have a good sense of where you need to spend more time reading before you come back and try this again. Now I also want to go through and uh, show you what uh, one of the other courses looks like because this is uh, a really cool and valuable tool for ham radio operators or I should say soon to be ham radio operators uh, for understanding the very, very basics of operating a radio, how to use a repeater, things like that. And that is this Baofeng course. Uh, so again, set up the same way. You have some videos, you have some text, but just take a look at one of these videos uh, and just see how easy it is for you to understand how to use it if you're brand new. That is super cool. I mean, that alone of like how to use this radio. Um, again, if you're a new ham, Baofeng is a very popular first radio. Um, widely, uh, I said controversial one, but again, uh, very common for new hams to use this one. Uh, here is the what are repeaters. Um, a lot of times people go, well, what is a repeater? Why would I want to use one? It kind of explains everything right here for you. Uh, so again, so much great content for new hams. Uh, I think this course is fantastic. If you are completely green, have zero experience and knowledge with radios, uh, this Baofeng course, even if you don't get the radio, is a really, really, really good course for you to take. So that's it. 
Ham Radio Prep is a fantastic study tool. I recommend it for hams that are looking to upgrade their license or especially uh, brand new folks to the hobby that have no radio experience whatsoever. This is a great, great tool that I am um, happy to recommend. And you can find the link down in my bio or just take your browser to hamradioprep.com. Again, make sure you like and subscribe this video. It helps a ton. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you again next time.